Plug Lane Soaps and this is Margie. I hope everybody is having a good day. Oh my gosh. So it has been a while since I have made some cupcakes. And soap cupcakes, yes, of course. <laughs> and uh, last time I made them, I, I, w I got really wild and I think the cupcakes were probably about, I swear about six inches tall. And as wonderful as they looked people just didn't know what to do with them and I heard a lot of comments saying gosh you know I, I would buy them but but what am I supposed to do with something so tall so this time I thought that I would just keep them down to a respectable height so for housekeeping I'm putting my goggles on there we go Alright, so <clears throat> I have my oils and my lye ready, and I just want to show you. So these were some leftover soap. This is not Melt and Pour. This was some soap from another project that I did a few weeks ago. And here, here, was, here are these little, uh, I don't know what they look like still, um, daffodils from, from the Easter soap and and these I just put on a different tip and just kind of squirted something out and and these are some two-tone kind of cabbage roses so I'm gonna put those on the top and put on a few leaves and while I'm talking about leaves I'll, I'm gonna try using the Wilton Wilton 70 here and for the main piping on the top. I kind of got that. What is it? That's a Wilton 1A and it's just a, a big a big hole in there. And if if that does not work, I might swap it out for a Wilton 1M. Alrighty. Let's see. The I'm gonna I've only used this Laurel Green Mica powder from Nurture Soap once, and I'm trying to think if it's going to be more on the green side or the blue side. I'm I'm just going to take my chances because I'm a wild gal. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try that in in hopes that maybe um, the hue will hopefully go with these with this hue of the pink and the purple because I don't want them to be. A, a green green. I don't I just kind of want them to kind of be in the same Huey family if that's a word. And so here is the lavish lavender mica powder yeah, from Nurture Soap and I've it's isn't that just a gorgeous color? That is so pretty. I have only used this once before and I'm just trying to think if it's going to match match this color better. So but so this is going to be for the base. The, the lavender color is going to be for the base. And then I'm just going to have the the top natural. I don't I don't even know if I even want to add any titanium dioxide, which just occurred to me that I don't have any mixed up. So maybe I'll just keep it just just plain. So I think we will get going. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Ah! I'm trying to trying to get going here before before the family gets gets home. So for the for the fragrance, I have mentioned this before. This is my all-time favorite lavender fragrance. It's from Brambleberry. There is it uh, behaves well in cold process, which it does no discoloration and there is no discoloration. Now, I am a gardener, which a few of you may have heard me mention before. I do have lavender plants in our yard, and this is—I mean, I, there is just no difference in my in my mind that this is so close to the actual uh, lavender plant. And yes, it is a fragrance oil, but um, I don't use essential oils that often. It doesn't, well, I know that fragrance oils are expensive, and I do love them, but I probably only have one or two customers that absolutely require 
essential oils uh, in my soaps, not because they're fussy, but because they are allergic to fragrance oils. And so that's about the only time that I really use essential oils. But anyway, um, you know, if you're if you if you want to try a nice lavender, I mean, this just sticks in the soap. Um, so you know, buy maybe buy buy two ounces of this and just give it a try. Now, I thought, okay, so yeah, so this is empty here, and I thought I had enough. So for my recipe, which is seventy three point twenty seven ounces after everything is done so that's just over four and a half pounds I needed three point one three ounces well I was just a smooge short so I needed about point thirty ounces about a third of an ounce but but I think this is gonna I think that's gonna be all right so I was thinking now since I was short that maybe I could use some of this clementine lavender which is from rustic essentials which is way back on in on the east coast south carolina i believe and as you can tell this is a very yellow oil compared to the bramble berries fragrance oil here the lavender and let me just give this a little oh see that is so nice oh so 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 nice but I think I'm going to, I, I have two of these, so I think what I'm going to do is, since I've never used that before, I'm going to wait and use that in a sample batch, which I never add any color to, because I just want to see what the discoloration is going to be like. Alrighty, oh, let me back up here. Hello, hello. All right. Okay. And you'll have to forgive me if it sounds like I have a cough drop in my mouth. I do. I still have that doggone scratchy or whatever that is, that dry, dry throat. So, so I'm sorry if, if it sounds like I have a cough drop. So, all right. Let's get this show on the road. And I've already taken the the temperature before I got yakking away. It is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous day out. Holy cow. Gang, I'm back. I just wanted to show you um, as we're still waiting here. Okay, so these cupcakes. So this is this is the base, and let's see if you can see it. So uh, you can probably remember, you know, when I poured it, the the batter was uh, shiny because it was wet, and now these have been. Oh gosh, I want to say they've been probably sitting here for maybe oh, 45 minutes, an hour. And so they have that dull, kind of a less less shiny top, which means that they are probably perfect for, for piping here. And let me see if I can, I want, to, I want to move this guy. So I want to show you 
the batter here. Gotta make sure I'm I'm in view. Maybe I'll zoom her in here. There we go. Okay. All right. So now I just added the some titanium dioxide because I was not quite sure how white this batter was going to be. Now this is pretty fluid. I have been, I guess, like I was mentioning at the beginning of, of the video that I need to retweak my recipe because I do have probably at least a minimum of 60% hard oils, which is your your coconut, your, your palm, your uh, lard, uh, oils like like that which make for a lovely lovely hard bar of soap <clears throat> but it will make your batter accelerate I shouldn't say accelerate fast but it, it will thicken up fast now so I just wanted to show you because many people have have often wondered kind of what is the perfect piping consistency. Now to me this looks like a lovely vanilla pudding. This consistency. And as you can see when I'm kind of scooping it up in the middle here you we, we kind of have, we, me, <laughs> the little mouse in my pocket, kind of have semi peaks there but then they fall down. And so, if this were pudding, it'd be perfect for pudding, but this is to be piped on top of the cupcakes, and this will never stand up. And I just saw another little, little red spot here, so that is the soap from my, from the Duke of Arlington soap that I made last night, or I don't know if I'm going to keep that name, but... I had some red stuck in the bottom of the blender. So I am going to let this sit here probably for another good 15 minutes and then I shall return. All right. So let's take a look at this batter now. So it has thickened up. I was probably away for 15, 20 minutes. And so, as you can see, that the peaks are staying put. See that? So that is probably just perfect. I think if I, if I were to wait any longer, it would be too thick on me. So it does look like a lot of batter, so hopefully I I got my recipe correct. You never know till you get piping and then you're like, oh my goodness. going here. Just trying to think how I want to go about this. Okay, so the batter looks good. Do a 
I like these pointy tops here. I'm too happy with the uh, leaf consistency. That was pretty, pretty runny, and I probably, I was thinking maybe on second thought, um, I probably could have used this Wilton 1M uh, close uh, star tip. I don't know if that would have made it look any better, but you know what? I think it's going to turn out all right. I wish I would have had more of the uh, little cabbage roses there. Oh, I got a little bit of something other on here. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, oh. that didn't. I gotta get my gloves back on. Oh. See if I can fix that here. That's funny. There we go. A little dab will do ya. All right, gang. There we go. So they will be ready in time for Mother's Day. There you go. All right, gang. So I, they should probably be ready to unmold tomorrow. So I don't know if if you want me to to wait and to unmold them and and uh, film that. But anyway, thank you again for watching, and everybody have a wonderful day. Alrighty, bye bye. Okie dokie gang, I'm back 
And so this is the next day, and I just thought that I better um, unwrap a couple of these guys so you can kind of see what they are. And I know, shame on me, I've already, I've already taken one, one out of its, oops, geez, little container here. And you know, I just think these are just so adorable. I just, I just love these. And as you can see, the top of the um, little cupcake mold came up to about here. And so, you know, had, had I known that I needed, or that I was going to have tons of batter left, I would have, I would have filled it up. So, and let's see, so this was the, what was it, the Luscious Lavender? Mica, so I think it turned out. See, it just pops out real easy. Give it a little toss there. Make sure I'm I'm in view there. But I thought they turned out okie dokie. There's one, and I think I'm definitely going to be making more of these for Mother's Day. Not quite sure what to think about these little yellow flowers, but I, I had them. I think I need to get some more of those silicone molds. But yeah, but it was, I mean, but it, you know, other than mixing all the oils and everything the day before, whatever, it was pretty, pretty easy. Yeah, but I'm sure, I'm sure glad that I had these. Uh, you know, flowers done ahead of time. Now I think out of all of them, I think, I think the, I like the uh, pink ones. And oops, can be here. Sorry. And I, you know, I think what I might do next time is <clears throat> maybe just make different color batters, batters, Shh. batter. Uh, maybe like a pink, you know, for the pink ones, and then. Maybe more, you know, keep the purple with the purple. And then if I just maybe have some, like, yellow roses, maybe make the yellow base. But, you know what, on the whole, I am very, very happy with these. I think they're just cuter than cute. I think they turned out pretty good. So, anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.